Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be comparing two numbers. We have 2 to the power 10 factorial and 2 to the power 10 factorial. I guess we could put 2 to the 10 in parentheses to make it more clear that we factorial 2 to the 10th. Obviously, we could look at this problem from a different perspective and just compare 2 to the power 3,628,800 and 1,024 factorial, but that would be much harder because how do you compare these numbers, right? That's basically 10 factorial, and 2 to the 10th power is 1,024. So does that make sense? The number on the right-hand side is basically 1,024 factorial. So how do we compare these two numbers? Let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to start with 2 to the 10 factorial, the first one, okay? So 2 to the 10 factorial can be written as 2 to the power. Now, 10 factorial can be broken down in so many ways, such as 10 times 9 times 8 factorial, 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial, so on and so forth. But I want to use 2 to the power 10 times 9 factorial. So I want to stop at 9 factorial. Why? You'll see in a little bit why this is helpful. And then I want to go ahead and keep the 2 to the 10th inside and take 9 factorial outside. Now take a look at this number and take a look at the other number. Hopefully that'll make sense. I want to bring it kind of closer to or maybe put it in a form uh, more compatible with this other number so that we can compare them. Make sense? So getting 2 to the 10th inside is a good thing. You'll see in a little bit how this plays out. So this is my first number, and I'm going to refer to the number on the left-hand side as my first number, and the right-hand side as the second number, okay, from left to right. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the second number. What is it? It's 2 to the 10 factorial. And again, if this is confusing for you, put 2 to the 10th in parentheses and put the factorial outside, which means we're going to do the exponent first and then factorial it, okay? This can be basically written as what? 2 to the 10th times 2 to the 10th minus 1, 2 to the 10th minus 2. In other words, 1024 times 1023 times 1022, so on and so forth, times 3 times 2 times 1. Obviously, this is a factorial, so it's going to be the product of consecutive numbers, whereas the first number is 2 to the power f factorial, which we use the rules of exponents to write as. Okay? Now, here's what we're going to do. If you look at each factor in the second number, which is this one, you probably notice that except for the first number, every number is less than 2 to the power 10, right? I mean, 2 to the 10th minus 1 is less than 2 to the 10th. 2 to the 10th minus 2 is less than 2 to the 10th. And these numbers get smaller and smaller. So obviously, their product, their product is going to be less than 2 to the 10th times 2 to the 10th times 2 to the 10th dot 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 times 2 to the 10th times 2 to the 10th times 2 to the 10th. Obviously, 3 and 2 and 1 are much, much less than 2 to the power 10, but for the sake of this discussion, we just have to compare the whole thing to this product. What do you notice about the second product is that every term is the same, so we can kind of write it as an exponential again. So how do we arrive at this? We know that this is less than that, this is less than that, so we can multiply all of these things and then multiply both sides by 2 to the 10th and we're going to get the inequality. Make sense? I know that 2 to the 10th is not less than 2 to the 10th, but that doesn't uh, take away anything from this result. Okay? Cool. Now, the most important part of this solution, I believe, is to be able to write this as an exponential. So how do you write the product of all these numbers as something to the power of something else? And here's the thing. First of all, each factor is 2 to the 10th, so I'm going to have to write it, uh, write it as 2 to the 10th to the power of something, and that something is determined by the number of terms in this product, right? So how many factors are there? How do you count the number of factors? Easy. Take a look. This is 2 to the 10th factorial. Therefore, this is the number of terms. Because think about it. 5 factorial has 5 factors, right? Because it's 5 through 1. So this product, this factorial has 
2 to the 10th terms. So we have this number 2 to the 10th times. Make sense? Okay, I hope it does. Now, here is another conclusion that we arrived at. And what is that? It is 2 to the 10 quantity factorial is less than 2 to the 10th to the power 2 to the 10th. Now this is important because we're going to use this to compare uh, to another number. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is the following. So if I start the 10 factorial with 9, I'm going to need the 9s because if you remember, I have a 9 factorial here, so I kind of need to expand it now. You'll see in a little bit why this is helpful. Let's use the same color. So 9 factorial is basically 9, 8, dot, 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 3, 2, 1. And then I want to compare this to 2 to the power 10. Why? Because this is going to be 2. By the way, here's the tricky part. Uh, the top product has 9 factors. The bottom one has 10 factors. So how do we eliminate that problem? We can actually bundle the 2's together and kind of write it as 4. You see, we have an extra 2, which we can write as 2 times 2, which becomes 4. Make sense? Now take a look at this. If you compare these two products, 9 is greater than 2, 8 is greater than 2, all the numbers, with the exception of the last number, which is not going to make a huge difference. Obviously, it's not even going to make a dent, because look at this. This number is 4 times that. And 4 is only 4 times 1, so it's already compensated. Make sense? This means that 9 factorial is greater than 2 to the power 10. Awesome. This is a result that we need for our problem. You see how I'm going to use it? So here's how it plays out. I'm going to start with this. 9 factorial is greater than 2 to the 10th, as you can see here. And these numbers are really actually not hard to evaluate because think about it. 2 to the 10th is 1024, and 9 factorial is definitely, definitely bigger than 1000, right? I mean, come on. Even uh, the, what was 10 factorial? It was uh, 3 million something. And just divide by 10, that's, you're going to get something like 362,000, right? That's much, much bigger than 1,024, definitely. No discussion. So here's what we're going to do next. We're going to go ahead and do 2 to the power 10 to both sides. Does that make sense? So in other words, I'm going to go ahead and put the 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 10 at the base, and then raise each of these to the power, one of them to the power 9 factorial, and the other one to the power 2 to the 10. And what does that mean? The bases are the same. The exponent on the left is much bigger, this one. Therefore, this number is going to be greater than the other number. Awesome. Now, what is this? This is 2 to the power 10 times 9 factorial, which is 2 to the power 10 factorial. And then, this is greater than 2 to the power 10 to the power 2 to the power 10. But wait a minute, that's not the number we're looking for. But don't worry, we're going to use the transitive property. Remember, we got that result here. This number is greater than that number. So this is greater than 2 to the power 10 factorial. And now our conclusion follows. And since we're looking for the bigger, larger number, that will be 2 to the power 10 factorial, which means the exponentiation wins, not the factorial. And... This brings us, and let me write the conclusion before I conclude, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.